The contact Denver 7 inbox continues to be filled with reports of women here in the metro claiming their drinks were drugged during a night out. And for weeks now, we've been documenting their stories from downtown Denver bars. These claims are alarming, Shannon, and have every woman on high alert. So tonight, we're hearing from another woman who says that she was drugged at a bar at DIA, and she thinks she nearly became a victim of human trafficking. Here's Denver 7's Christian Lopez. I made it. I survived it. So I want to use my voice to help. Madison Herman doing just that. Speaking up after what she says she recently went through at Denver International Airport. It happened to me, so it can happen to you. Herman is talking about an incident she believes could be linked to human trafficking. She was heading back home to Cleveland after an overseas trip and had a layover in Denver. She decided to kill time at an airport bar. Wasn't paying attention to my drink at all. Madison believes it all started at the bar she was drinking at. She was on the phone with her family talking about how her flight to Cleveland had been delayed and she thinks that someone was listening in on that conversation. She then came to this gate to wait to board her flight and that is when she started feeling nauseous and then had a weird interaction when she went to the restroom. There was a girl in front of me. She had turned around when we were like halfway back the stalls and she just looked at me and she said, I'm so sorry. I heard her as I was in the bathroom. She was on the phone. Madison said her first instinct was to make herself throw up. I was done and I heard them on the phone. It was a guy on the other line who said, well, this is the first time we've done this, that we've had someone throw up. And so at that point, like all my red flags went up. I was a perfect target. I was exhausted, emotional, on crutches. She eventually boarded her flight to Cleveland. I had three guys that were around me. Then I saw the girl from the bathroom board and I just got like a pit in my stomach when I saw her and she like looked at the guys and like gave a smile and a head nod. As this was happening, Madison says she was texting her mom and husband. She also alerted the flight crew. I was like, they're trying to traffic me. I said, I don't know if they're drugging me. When she landed in Cleveland, everyone at home was already aware. United was aware. Um, and then Cleveland Airport Police were aware. So I had the escorts to get off of the flight. Madison tells us the people she believes were involved were not questioned or followed when she arrived telling us she thinks her claims were not taken seriously, not until she went and got a drug test. We had gone to the ER just to make sure everything was okay, and that is where my urine toxicology came back positive for benzos. Benzos, or benzodiazepines, a type of drug she's not currently prescribed that handles severe anxiety, Madison said once she had that proof, officials became more involved, saying she received a call Monday from the FBI Cleveland office saying they're investigating. We reached out to the FBI to confirm that. The agency said they are aware of this case, but they can't confirm nor deny if they're investigating due to their policy. In Denver, Christian Lopez, Denver 7. And Christian's been on the story since we first received messages about it in our contact Denver 7 inbox. And she will continue to cover these stories as they come in. If you have a concern you want Christian to look into, call the number on your screen or email us contact7 at denver7.com.